from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 236 pounds, here's Frankie Lane. And his opponent hails from St. Petersburg, Florida, weighs in at 228 pounds, he's Jack, the stretcher heart. One fall with a 10-minute time limit. Former Florida heavyweight wrestling champion Jack Hart going up against the number one aspirant for the, that title today and young Frankie Lane, two fine young athletes and wrestlers tying up, feeling up for weight and balance. However, it's elbow into the abdominal area by Hart. Starts off the trouble, an arm giant whip. Coming off, Lane, full body slam, single arm spin under, another single arm spin under, almost a wing over, and Hart in trouble. Gentlemen? Well, you know something, Coach, there's a lot of things exciting happening in the wrestling world today. When you look at the talent that's available in the National Wrestling Alliance, the Road Warriors, Coach, the Road Warriors, the biggest, massive, wildest team that I've ever seen going to be in Orlando, Hector. That's Come right, man. That right. will be on Wednesday, the 27th of November. That's a that's an odd date for that town. Don't forget now, it's not Sunday. It is Wednesday, November the 27th. Road Warriors return to Orlando to the Eddie Graham Sports Complex. Let's not also forget in Jacksonville on right. Thursday, the 28th of November, Turkey Day Invasion, and you can count on lots of action and lots of upcoming names Doctor, coming to that area. Let me ask you something. You're in Jacksonville, and I believe I am, too. Did you hear, did you understand that Lady Maxine has entered the Battle Roar? Is that true or not? Wow, is that going to be something to do? I'll tell you something. I don't know. Is this going to be hands-off or hands-on? <laughs> I don't know, best man win, no, best whoever wins. I hear you. Well, that's great. I'm, I'm going to see something about discrimination here. I'm not, I don't have the opportunity to go to Jacksonville and see that. I wanted to see that one. And an underarm wing over by Frankie Lane puts Jack Hart in a bit of trouble there. And Hart coming to his feet and employing the fingers and the eyes bit right in the eye orbit area. And a hard heart right to the head of Frankie Lane. And I am sort of disturbed the fact that I'm not getting up there to see that Jacksonville invasion on Turkey Day. Well, Coach, you know something, Hector and I both. I mean, obviously, looking at me, I love the holidays, and I want to wish everybody a happy holidays coming up. you got Thanksgiving coming up, turkey dressing. Boy, and my family, with Barry and everybody, and we eat chicken and dressing and, and mashed potatoes and everything. Boy, and we eat some food and we eat corn, and we fix it up. I know Hector may have some enchiladas and stuff. Man, we'll have turkey enchiladas, man, and tacos and That's all it. kind of burritos. Ritos. And I'll tell you something, we have it a little bit with a Latin taste, but we love that turkey and we like all that nice, nice dressing and all the gravy, turkey? too. Yeah, are they going to be able to taste them? Not They're yet. fantastic. No better dessert, though, than to go out to the Jacksonville Auditorium and uh, see that matches that night. Uh, that'll be on the 28th in Jacksonville, the invasion, turkey invasion. And quite a match going on here. At one time, Frank Lane Ooh. had the arm sister of Jack Hart, who was able to come out of it. And now a double underarm hook and whip over suplex by Jack Hart, who comes off the ropes and applies the boots to the head, neck, and back of Frankie Lane. You know, I think the main thing for Jack Hart and Lane at this point are to keep striving, keep on it. They're just a little bit away, a little bit away from the championship. Jack Hart has been there, has been there. They, they keep trying, they're good athletes, they're working in their heart, they need to keep in the gym, keep training, and it'll come, that's all, you know. There's no getting around us. We were speaking about Thanksgiving and Turkey Day and things like that. It is how hungry you are, how much you eat. And it's how hungry a wrestler is, how hard he trains, and wants that title. I agree, Coach. That's 100% because the man that goes out there, works out, spends the hours in the gym, works himself psychologically for every match and prepares himself physically and mentally is the man who's going to be up there 100% and ready to win. Well, I agree with both of you heartily because I'm hungry all the time and I'm just ready to go anytime. Oh, well, you're down at 325. You better watch it there, Blackjack. And he's setting him up for a double arm Whoa. crucifix here. Which is a, almost. Yes, sir. It's usually a death of the combination. He's coming in for a three-quarter Nelson from the left side. He has it tied in, but Lane, with an awful lot of back power and leg power, is able to scoop out of there. That's not too often seen. An awful lot of strength exhibited by Frankie Lane. Arm drag whipped in by Lane on Hart. Hart rebounding off the ropes. Received a shot from Lane, a back drop, who missed an elbow drop. And both men starting to show the wear of this hard-fought match. You know something, Coach, that's a very unusual move there. The last time I saw that, Frank the Toe Gox tried to put that on me. Here we go, almost a pin. I beg your pardon, who was that? Frank Gox tried to put that Frank on you? Frank the Toe Gox. A near pin there, Coach. 
Oh boy, oh boy, that's, that's right. And a hard ride by Jack Hart. We're talking, we're talking back in the 1890s now, folks, and he is nowhere near that old. In fact, he could be my son. A hard body slam by Jack Hart on Frankie Lane, and a very confident Jack Hart right now, who rakes the eyes of Frankie Lane with the laces. Caught into a deep inside cradle with a top half Nelson, a nearly quick up enclosure, and a surprise win for the aspiring Florida heavyweight champion coming up, Frankie Lane. He really wants